Hello, today is February 11, 2021. Will be my stuff for the next. I don't know how long we'll be there in Mexico. Are you a real Filipino if you're not going to bring these items when you go abroad? Are you ready, Martin? Hi, guys. Ready to go. <laughs> Good morning. Time to leave the Hoover HQ. If you guys haven't seen this vlog, I'll put the link on the description box or right here. <laughs> All right, ready. This feels so weird. I don't remember the last time I had this feeling of, you know, excitement going to uh, another country. I'm gonna miss the food definitely in my family, friends. Talking in Tagalog. Now it's time for me to speak Spanish, learn Spanish. These are all of our stuff that we will be bringing. As usual, Brother Loving It is dropping us off. <laughs> so sweet. Thank you, Jong. We have all of the documents that we need. I really hope it will run smooth today. Finally checked in, but hopefully the immigration will allow me. It's still not sure, but I already paid for the Philippine tax, which is 1,620 pesos. Before whatever's happening in the world right now happened, I only have to fill out this form. This one is a travel healthcare declaration. This one is the immigration departure card. Soon after. Bye, Marty. See you. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. Bye. See you tomorrow. You'll be I'm fine so without me. <laughs> Goodbye, Philippines. Thank you. Safely arrived here at Narita International Airport. This is where I'm going to take my next flight. 
to Mexico City. As you can see, the airport's pretty empty. I miss Japan. Japan is still not open for tourism, but hopefully, I'll get to visit it maybe next year. Who knows? The flight was nice, food was good, felt very safe being inside the plane. There's really not much passengers, so. Yeah. The airport's super empty. You don't see much people. It's an international transfer. This is where I need to do the scanning and health declaration. Thank you. Just passed by the scanning process. Not so sure if there will be any like health scanning thing here, but I'll let you guys know. My gate is number 56. I still have about an hour and a half time to kill. Yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do. Maybe I'll go shopping. Just kidding. I can't afford those expensive things. Oh, look. Made it here at my gate. Gate 51. Okay, I'll just find a place where I can also charge. That's nice. As you can see, there are a lot of chairs, vacant chairs. There's even a massage chair. Is that for free? Wait, let me go check. Oh no, you have to pay 200 yen. <laughs> the duty free since I have like leftover Japanese yen from my trip like two years ago I'm gonna hoard chocolates this is the best This one is 160 Japanese yen in a vending machine and this one is 140. Martin wasn't able to join me on this flight because he needed to do a clearance at the immigration in Intramuro so he needed a full day. The only reason I pushed through on this flight is because I have to pay fees but I didn't really want to leave him. I know he's in good hands, my brother's taking care of him, my family's taking care of him. I didn't expect that I'm gonna go solo again going back to Mexico and Martin's first time to travel solo. I want to show you guys some of the items that I bought. Roy's chocolate chips, Tokyo banana. It's a gift for Martin <laughs> and me. In case you guys visit Japan, make sure to buy one of these because I'm telling you one box is not enough. Kit Kat strawberries. This is my first time to see this. I don't know, nabudo lako because it's by the counter and it looks delicious. I always buy my skincare here in Japan. It's quite pricey. A lot of people are saying it's pricey. Well, it is, but you get what you pay for. And then I went to a drugstore. I bought some face mask, face sunscreen. This is one of my favorite sunscreens. When I go to Japan, I hoard a lot of these. Last is a face mask. I haven't tried this before, but I heard good things about this face mask. So I'm gonna try that one out. To be honest, the only difference about traveling right now, swab this, it's supposed to be an RT-PCR taken 48 hours before your flight. It has to be negative. The travel insurance, return flight tickets, health declaration form that you need to sign 
at the airport. That's all you need. Okay? Boarding time. Okay, so far so good. Smooth journey. No one's asking me for more requirements. Now it's time to board. There's really not much people boarded the plane. I think I only waited for five minutes. A lot of space for social distancing. Right? Oh my gosh, it's so cold. It's winter time here in Japan right now. Hello. 23H. Okay, thank you. Here's my chair. Guys, here I am, Char. <laughs> one day, guys. One day. <laughs> I will treat myself one day. My experience. Lang. Welcome on board A and A flight 180 from Mexico City. Please place your baggage at least under the seat in front of you to prevent separation to board with an appropriate distance from the passenger in front. Consideration to preventing the spread of the novel coronavirus. Thank you for your understanding. To prevent from visual covering at the airport engines if you need them. This is including cell phones that emit radio. Here's my seat. I think I'll be the only one in this row again, which is perfect for social distancing and they handed this over an immigration form every foreign travelers that are going to visit mexico needs to sign this one up and you can't lose this you have to bring this with you at all times because this serves as your visa here in Mexico but it wasn't a smooth ride I was in the immigration for about 30 minutes I never had that experience before it's most likely because I'm Asian most of the people who are at the immigration office are also Asians um, few of them are Filipinos actually yeah I was the last one they ask a lot of information why am I staying in Mexico for a long time where am I staying do I have a friend here and all of that and I tried to withdraw money none of the ATM machines work I only have a couple of US dollars with me as my battery is about to die but nonetheless I am grateful I am lucky to be here safely landed in Mexico City I can't download the uber app I don't have a sim card yet because I can't buy a sim card because I don't have Mexico enough Mexican pesos and my card just went full oh my god what a what a day but super happy to be here I'm excited to explore the city Guys, 
here's my lunch slash dinner fresh orange juice and pasta bolognese with chicken on the side they even gave me some bread i am so tired jet lag i hope you guys don't mind that i'll talk to you while i'm eating because i'm very hungry I left the Philippines at 9.40 in the morning of February 11. Martin, unfortunately, wasn't able to join me because he needed to do uh, exit clearance at the immigration office. So head over to his YouTube channel to know more about the process if you're a foreigner that got stuck in the Philippines or been living in the Philippines and want to know how will you be able to leave the country. It's in his vlog. So I arrived in Japan, smooth sailing. There were no health declaration flight was smooth sailing there's a little bit of turbulence it was a nice 12 hour flight i would recommend for you guys to download a lot of like netflix or movies and there's no internet so some airlines they provide onboard wi-fi a lot of ups and downs and i wasn't able to download uber because i need to purchase a sim card and since i don't have enough cash to buy a sim card i asked my friend trisha she helped me out i was like girl i need to book an uber can you help me out i'll pay you back so that's what happened long story but i'm thankful and i deserve this spaghetti bolognese with chicken and freshly squeezed orange juice I'm gonna end this vlog now. Thank you so much for watching my journey, Asia to Mexico, all of the hassles, everything that you need to know before you visit Mexico. Hope you guys like this video. Make sure to give it a big thumbs up. Watch my old Mexico vlogs. The link will be right here. I never thought that I'd go solo travel to Mexico again. Thank you. Bye. Love you. Peace.